my name's Ansel and I'm going to be talking to you about the blogging feature on your Layer website. So I have my website open in the editor and I'm going to go over here to the toolbox and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit to the blog post section. And we're just going to start by creating a post. So I'm going to press create post. I'm going to put in a post title. And then right here, um, I have the option to upload an image for um, my thumbnail. So that is the picture that um, users will see in the preview of the blog post on your website, and it's what they click to get to your blog post. Um, if you don't put anything in there, it's um, a randomly generated image. I'm going to press browse, and we're going to pick... Um, Let's see, why don't we pick this guy? You have the option to crop and rotate if you'd like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crop him like this. And um, you know what? No, I don't I don't want to rotate him, but I am gonna crop him. So after you crop, you'll have to press the check here to save the change. And then I'm gonna press save right here. If I decided that I didn't want to make any changes, I could press this right here and just exit. Um, but I do want to save my changes. I want to keep him cropped. So I'm going to press yes there. And then right here is my post content. So I have lots of fun options for um, what I'm actually putting on my blog. I can change the size. I can make my text bold or italic. or underlined, oh, I did not do the italic right. There we go. I can do strike through. Then we have this really fun quote option. We have um, a little box here that we can make. And this allows your users to easily copy and paste um, material from your blog there. So if you have something that is meant for them to be able to highlight and copy, that makes it really easy. If you're putting in like code or something. We also have a hyperlink option. So I can highlight my text here and I can press this button. And then I can put in a URL and press save. And then when my users click this, it will take them to that URL that I put in there. I can also insert an image. We're going to put this cube in there. We've got a numbered list. We've got a bulleted list. I can indent. I can indent more than once. I can also um, backtrack my indent if I don't want it to go as far. I can change my text color. I can also change the background color of my text. Oh, that is really hard to read, isn't it? Let's do this color. Oh. <laughs> Let's change this back to black so that we can read that. There we go. And I can also align my text differently. So why don't we center some text? And then under that, we have the option to allow comments. So um, you do have the option to let people leave comments on your blog or not. It will automatically be set to no, but you can set it to yes. You are able to moderate comments. Um, so you can delete comments that you find um, inappropriate or offensive or whatever it may be. I will show you how to do that. So um, don't be too afraid to allow comments. And then right here, this is the option to um, make your blog post appear as a pop-up or a completely separate page. So you'll only be able to select separate page if you have lay of business um, because that gives you access to an unlimited number of web pages. So let's start with the pop-up and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to press post. 
And then yes, I do want to see those changes. Um, I did not make any changes to my website, so I don't need to save them. So now it's taken me to the live version of my website. So this is the website I use for tutorials. I'm just going to scroll down to the blog. Um, and these are some other um, posts that I've posted in the future. I'll show you all about this scrolling in just a second. But I'm just going to click on the one that I just posted. So I'm going to press example post one here. And a pop-up appears that shows me um, my post. So here's our hyperlink. Here's our copy bar. Here's our image and our list. And right here is where I can write a comment. Now I have commented on my blog before, so I already have a username here. Um, I might throw that out. Um, but if I had never posted a comment before, it would have me create a username and password. So you can see who is regularly posting on your blog by what um, the username is. So that's pretty cool. So because this is a pop-up, I can scroll back up to the top and I can press the X here and return to my website. Now, if I were to create a post, I'm not gonna put an image in, this is just an example. If I was to create a post that was a separate page and then press post, when I say that I want to see the changes, instead of taking me um, to, yeah, we'll save this one. Instead of taking me to my live site, it's going to take me to the editor for my new blog post page. So this is the image it picked as my thumbnail because I did not put a thumbnail in. So when you have um, a blog post like this, you can um, edit the text and all that, just like you can on your regular website. And then you can also come down here to the settings and press this, and you have access to edit um, all of the things that you set up when you first made the page. So if I press view live site on this, and then I scroll, oh, well it takes you right to um, the blog post page. So here's my here's my blog post. I can go back to my home page. And then when I scroll down to the blog, here's that post that I just posted. And when I click on it, instead of a pop-up, I'm navigated back to that page that it was just showing me. So let's say someone says something kind of mean on one of my blog posts, and I don't like it up, and I want to remove it. I can go over here to this edit main page button to get back to my main page. And then I can scroll back down to the blog section and I can press delete comment. From here I'm going to have access to all my blog posts. So the only one with a comment on it is this one. So I'm going to select that and press next. And then this will show you all the comments on that blog. There's only one, so that's the only one to choose. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and it's gone. That's it. And then the other thing to know with the blog is that you have control over how many posts at a time are shown on your website. So um, if I go to the set max post page right here, I don't know exactly how many posts I have. I think it's like six or seven, but let's say I only want um, three at a time to be seen. I think that more than three on my website for whatever reason, whatever reason just doesn't look good. It's overwhelming. I don't know. I don't like it. I only want to see three blog posts. So I'm going to press three is my maximum number here. I'm, I'm going to press save. If you leave it as zero, then um, all of your blog posts will be shown at once. So if you have a lot of blog posts, um, it will take up a large section of your website, which is great for websites that are mainly blogs, but if your blog is a side thing, you might want to set your max posts. So we've done that. So I'm going to press view live site, and I'm going to scroll back down to my blog, and now we see that there's three posts at a time being shown, and I have this fancy little next button, and I can see the next three posts. If I had more than six posts, 
I could press the next button again and see the next page of posts, but I don't. I only have six. So it's reached its limit. There's only two pages, so there's not another next button. But I can go previous and go back to the previous um, trio of posts, and there they are. And I can open this up again, and you'll see that that comment that I deleted is gone. And yeah, the blogging feature is really fun. Um, it's recently uh, revamped, so that's really cool. And it's super easy to use. Um, if you ever need additional help, if something isn't working the way that you want it to, if you don't understand, you can always go to heylea.com slash contact and you can email customer service here and ask for a little bit of help. So um, I hope that you won't need to and I hope that this video was very informative, but if you do need to contact us, feel free.